Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Crypto Explorer. Today's video, I'm going over Ravencoin again, and we're going to go over how to get your wallet, wallet set up for Windows, how to encrypt your wallet, how to back it up, and then restore it. So let's get started. First, we're going to go to ravencoin.org, and then click on Binary Release. Next, we're going to go scroll down to Windows, click on Windows, and then we're going to click on raven-qt.exe. And then we're going to click over here to download. Now, I've already downloaded it to save some time, so I'm just going to cancel this download when it begins. And we're going to go to the folder that I have downloaded it to. Let me just cancel here. Go to downloads. As you can see here, I have that Raven QT file. So let me just minimize the web browser here. I like to um, move this QT file to my desktop for quick access. So I normally just right click it and drag it. Oh. Oh. It's kind of acting a little slow today. Just had a bunch of Windows updates on it. So here we go. Wait for it. And then move here. I'm going to close this. So let's start the Raven QT file. Now, if you're installing the wallet for the very first time, it will take. Uh, some hours for it to sync up with the blockchain and download it. Um, I've already had this wallet synced up on this computer so just to speed up the process. So let's see over here. As it, we wait for it to load. Okay, there we go. First thing I might like to do is to check out the receiving addresses by clicking on file then receiving addresses and then we're going to create a couple I'm going to make one called main and create one called mining sometimes I like to separate them sometimes um, you may like if you take tips you may want to create one called tips or donations or whatever but as you can see we have these two addresses and we can right click to copy the address if we're sending them to anybody. If you click export, it's going to export all your addresses as a comma separated value file, a C, uh, CS, uh, CSV file. So I'm just going to click close. Now that we pretty much have the wallet ready to go, the very first thing we want to do is to encrypt it. I like to encrypt and test before I start receiving any coins for any kind of wallet. So that just in case um, I want to make sure everything works out fine. So to encrypt, we're going to go to settings and then click on encrypt. And then we're going to put a password twice. This is going to be a really easy one for demonstration purposes. I'm just going to put password twice and then click OK. So it's going to give you a warning message. We're going to click yes. And we're going to wait a bit while it does its thing to encrypt. Um, let's click OK. It's going to shut down after this. And then once it's done shutting down, we're going to restart the wallet. One second here as I, as we wait. Okay, now we can restart the wallet. And the very first thing we we're going to do is we are going to test that we can decrypt the wallet. And in order to do that, we do need to go into the command line. So normally wallets that have staking, you can see a uh, uh, option to uh, decrypt for staking only. But because this is not a coin that you can stake, we're going to have to check double check our work in the command line. To do that we're going to click help 
and then debug window. And then we're going to click on the console tab. Console tab, come on. And then we're going to do a couple commands here. First, we want to open the wallet. Make sure we can get in there. And to open the wallet, we have to unlock it first by going wallet. And then passphrase. As you can see, um, let's go back here. It um, populated it. You can, as you type it, it'll start giving you the options. And then we're going to put the passphrase that I put, which was the password. And then we're going to give an amount of time in seconds to leave the wallet uh, unencrypted. And I'm just going to put 600 seconds. And then we're going to see it, it took it. So the next thing we're going to do is, now that it's unencrypted, we could do a couple of things. We could actually get the uh, private key of uh, this, um, of this, of, of your, your uh, wallet, your addresses that you've created. So if we uh, go to receiving address, and we copy this and go back to the debug window. We can put the command dump priv key and then we'll paste the address and hit enter. And we're going to see this is the private key for this address. So obviously, this is a throwaway wallet because you do not want to give your private key to anybody. For every address in here, you can get the private key as well. So let's do the second one. And if you hit the up arrow, I'll just show that to you again. If you hit the up arrow, it'll give the last uh, command that, that was uh, entered. So let's do the pri get the private key for this guy. So as you can see, for this address, this is the private key. So now that we have verified we can get into the wallet, we've encrypted it, now we're going to back it up. So let's close out the debug window. We can close this out. To back up your wallet, go to File, and then Backup Wallet. Then we're going to save it to the desktop. I'm going to call it Raven Backup. And click Save. And there you go, we have our backup file over here. So now that we have a backup, we're going to try to mimic a restore. So in order to mimic a restore, we got to find out where the wallet file is. So we're going to close out the Raven wallet. And then we're going to go to where um, the wallet file is kept by default for Windows. While it's shutting down, we're going to go and click on the Start Menu Search area and type percent app data percent and hit enter oh I spelled it wrong okay let's go back okay here we go let's try this again percent app data percent hit enter and you'll see a folder called Raven Gonna double click on that. And this is the wallet file. So for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna delete it. And we're gonna start up the Raven wallet again. And you're gonna see because there is no wallet file in here, it will create a new one. Let's just move that to the side. So there's no wallet. There you go. It created a new wallet file. So when I open the when, when we're going to open the wallet file in here, we're going to find out that it is a totally new wallet. The two addresses that we created earlier are no longer there because it's a new wallet file. So let's go here, file, receiving addresses, and there is nothing. So I'm going to close it. So if you install the Raven wallet on a new computer, by default, all this is created again.
but you want to use your original wallet, which we have a backup here. To do that, we're going to just take the backup and move it here. Oops. No, we don't want to open. We want to, and I like to right click and then select move here. And then I'm going to delete the new wallet file that was created from this new install by right clicking delete. And then I'm going to right click and select rename this to wallet. Now we're going to start up the Raven wallet again. And we're going to check to see if our wallet has been restored. While we wait for it to load. Okay, here we go. Click on File, Receiving Addresses. Then you're going to see the two addresses that we created earlier from the first wallet. Okay, well that's it. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching.